fear. This is the only portrait that I actually plagiarized. Do you recognize this portrait at all? Michelangelo was the artist. He painted this on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. He called it Man's Descent into Hell. I thought it seemed very appropriate. In fact, this was the very first uh, picture that I had drawn of the 20 Faces of Grief. Uh, and I thought, this, this looked like grief to me, like, oh my God, where am I gonna go? What am I gonna do? And then I realized it looked, he looked so fearful that Michelangelo really, really caught this fear that man's ascent into hell, of course we'd be scared as hell. <laughs> but as you see, he, he's muscular, he's naked, he's totally vulnerable, and yet, and he is so scared. He has the, the body and the mass to, 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 to almost accomplish anything. But yet, grief has brought him to uh, the vulnerability of a child. And he doesn't know which way to turn. Only can look at the world through one eye the, the, and fearful. The fear takes us over. Fear can come in many different ways in our, in our grief. Uh, we have fear that we're gonna always feel like this. Uh, we have fear that um, something may happen to us, something may happen to other loved ones in our family or other friends. We have fear that maybe we'll lose our job because we can no longer uh, participate in the world like we could before. Fear of losing our home, fear of losing friends that we've had for years because in this journey you may lose friends. In our journey we have collateral damage and we have collateral blessings. The collateral blessings are some friends that may come into your life, people that get it, people that have experienced loss and share their heart with you. And those people may have, you may have deeper relationships with those people than you've ever had in your life because it cuts through the bowl. There's no pretense. It's heart to heart. The fear of uh, losing friends uh, is very real because there's some people that want the old Mitch back. There's people that want you back in their life. They want the way you were before, the things you did before. And maybe you're, you, you're just not up to it. You can't, I, I used to have buddies I used to golf with all the time. You know, it was a foursome of us. You know, we thought we were the best friends in the world. And after my son died, I lost touch with all of them. I just, I realized our relationship was just based on golf and having a good time. Uh, and when my son died, there was no depth of conversation. No one asked how I was doing. Uh, or, or the, it was just, I felt so out of touch. We didn't really have a base in a relationship that, that was based on any depth or emotion. So slowly I lost those friends and that's okay. I gained so many other good friends that, that understand and they stand by my side. And some of these people I maybe only meet once a year at a conference, uh, but they are true friends that they, I know that they will be by my side. I could call it any time of the day or night if I'm having an issue, a trouble with my grief that I could call somebody because we stick together. We know and understand maybe not each other's personal journey because we never really know how someone else's journey is. It's all different, uh, but they comprehend that you're on the journey of, of despair and grief and that can take many different faces. Uh, so, uh, Know that you will have fear. It's a, it's a part of the journey, and but when we have fear, we need people. Can we? And when we have that, people will help. People around us will help with the fear, and also to read, to educate yourself. What we don't know, we are fearful of. So if you educate and find out more about it, go to grief groups. Uh, look, there's a plethora of things online. Go to the grief toolbox and see what they have to offer. Go to Open to Hope. Go to the Bobby Resonati Healing Hearts Foundation. Go to the Compassionate Friends. Go to Bereaved Parents USA. Go to the Tragedy Assistance Program for Survivors of Military Loss. Go to Survivors of Suicide. Go to, go to Parent Heart Watch if, there, if you had a child with a heart condition. There are so many different avenues. Plug in the words, do a Google search. There is information, there are YouTubes, there are many people out there willing to help survive that you can reduce the fear in your life by knowing what lies ahead. So take your time, take care of yourself, but educate it. I know it's hard to read, 
You can even listen to audiobooks now, or you can watch videos. I'll try to bring more and more to you to help you on your journey. That is the legacy for my son. As I turn my heart light on, I hope you turn yours on. God bless.